A little more. Okay, yeah. Uh, that. Oh, none of the diet. Alright. Don't worry, bro. I'm not gonna kill you and eat your meat. It's safe now. Let me hear some chirps and warbles from my little birds. Can every Rito talk to birds? Because there was one Rito in Gerudo Town who was looking for uh, poultry to eat. That's really messed up if you can speak to them. They say some regular guests of the stable are late to arrive, very late. Mm. Uh, the chef here, Gotter, was going to meet with them to learn a new recipe. Ah, those guys. One that Princess Zella taught them. Uh, this ring is the perfect setting for a prime story. My king reporter thinks won't let my, won't let me leave this alone. Gotter has me over there waiting for the guests to arrive. He's barely moved this whole time. Hmm. Let's see... It's not unusual for guests to decide not show up, right? But what if they're unable to? They were coming to share a recipe from Princess Zelda too. Uh, that could be part of this. Ah. These chirps and warbles are worth looking into. Your mask are the missing. Alright... Oh, they're going here. Oh, no, I'm gonna take a picture of an apple in a tree. You get a reward now once again. Oh. We need to watch Mr. Horse. No. Oh. a Village, we shall boys. Okay. No. Reward. Oh. Ah, uh, yes, I'll be right with you. Ember. Mm. Uh, you like to get your point points reward, oh. right? For 30 points, you get a Trevor Saddle. Traveler's Saddle is standard saddle designed for combat during comfort during long journeys. Its durable material holds strong in all sorts of weather, which has made it favorite among travelers. Oh. Traveler Bride, oh, here's that too. Traveler's Bridle, standard bridle, the design doesn't really stand out, which is why it's most suited for any type of horse, a favorite among paddlers and travelers alike. Say just three oh. more. As, oh, a special main restyling service. Oh, okay, I thought I had to find a specific person. Appreciate the patronage. Okay. What's new? Let's see what's in this issue of the Lucky Clover Gazette. What's the news? Mm. With the village safe from Cumulus Crisis. Rito life returns to normal with the departure of a massive cloud. What about the Goros? They are closer. You know, did lastly. Any related news, the Stormwind Ark, a ship straight out of the legends of the Rito, has appeared. Hmm. Oh, I remember hearing about a fabled savior of the Rito tribe. I thought for sure that was a fair tale. Guess I was wrong. Hmm. There's so much to read this paper, other stars. Oh. Lifting news, the Skyville Towers are now active. The Skyville Towers, developed by an uh, eminent researcher Pura and building every region, now light up our skies. The Brave Sword means. Swordsman Link was the first to soar overhead by a, a tower's launching platform. Mm. So that's what those huge things are. I heard they were for making maps. Well, what's th this about a launch platform? Mm. 
they're so sure you live to be. Uh, once I finish up with this paper, I bring a movie to the next stop. <laughs> Have a head to Okaku village to the southeast. I heard its chief is really impressive. Hey! Oh, I thought I wanted you again. Follow me. Remember, secret is going to go chase to leave that person waiting for you. Uh, something <laughs> interesting. No. Okay, you chill. Present a far. I'm soaked. Yeah. Oh, uh, we, we met you at local lane. Ah, that's the last girl. Good to see a familiar face. Oh. Uh, we're thinking of going to Okakaku village in the Nepoda region next. That's to the east. Wasn't he looking for another city? This guy's dying to see the ring ruins. Of course I am. The ruins ring like sheep is one of a kind. I can't wait to taste them, <laughs> I mean, chew them, I mean. Oh. They talk about this, priceless ruins are for seeing, not eating. Anyway, Kakrik village is where we're headed. Oh. Kakrik village is right over there, next to the Skyview Tower. And the ring-shaped rock to the left of it is probably one of the ring ruins. Uh, if you get turned around on your journey, you can look for those two things to orient yourself. Oh. They are harder to see in the rain, but that should clear up sooner or later. <laughs> then wait, wait, let's go. Oh. Alright, big guy. We're off. Uh, see you on the road. <coughs> oh, what is that I passed by here then? Before. What is it that? Okay, that's to the east. Didn't that guy just say Kakariko was to the southeast from here? Oh, lag. Bird egg. A fresh egg. Bird egg that is served for making dishes such as omelets and crepes. Uh, you can snack them from bird's nests if you're sneaky. Nutrition and delicious, perfect for cooking. So sign on them. Ah, oh, that's the guy who wanted the recipe from the castle, right? Something isn't right. Angus and the rest would have to cross the bridge to get here, but what's going on? Oh, I didn't notice you there. Are you a customer? If you're looking for stable services, head over to the counter. I'm waiting here to greet some guests we were expecting. But uh, it's well best when they say they are arriving. I'm extremely worried. Oh. They've always crossed Oland Bridge in the past when they were coming here. I figured if I keep an eye on the bridge, I catch sight of them eventually. The guests are all gourmets. Their leader, a chef named Angus, has taught me a lot about cooking. Oh. They are they were all excited to visit and I was looking forward to, to it. They have a recipe from the Princess Elder to share. Uh, if Angus and the others have tanks, then they'd be totally fine in sweater. Still, they haven't shown up yet. I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, sorry, yeah, I'll protect you. Salty, salty woods, legendary surge. those as well. Yeah, I'm missing something. Ah. Uh, okay, it was an accident, but I should have broken one of those. Oh. 
Chakra Spirit. No, it's not a ring anymore. Oh yeah, let's let's change. Uh, the trailer saddle. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh. Let's change Brian. No, damn it. Hey, does it feel like the amount of R is has dwindled a lot lately? I wonder if it's to do with the people. Uh, but I heard otherwise. I've heard that inside those recent cave formations, there's all sort of new R deposits. You can make easy money selling rare gems off to shops. So it's common sense to investigate the cave when you find one. Ball of reach. Yeah. Aw, yeah. oh, you're kidding me. The supplies are all the way over there. Yeah, actually, I don't have to go all the way there. Okay, that has to be enough. It's saying, yeah, it's saying, quickly, quickly, come on. What was the rest beginning? Meat? Rice. I don't have rice. Arrow shroom. The cap of this mushroom is very hard. Use it when cooking to prepare a dish that increases your face. Soft rock, although originally aquatic species, this type has adapted to life in the forest. They hide among the trees, disguising themselves as grass or other some shrubbery, and then attack when someone wanders by. Let's go, I'm looking for someone to talk to, it's fine with me, let's ah. talk. Staying out in the open like this, you really see how the world's changed. Not a lot of new stuff gets me all that excited anymore. Me, what can be the ruins just falling out of the sky? But a lot of ruins fell on Kakariko village to the east, and they say all oh, they are unusual. Mm. Still, unusual is totally unusual now, so I'm not, not interested. Hey, if it was really weird though, I'd be off to see in a shot. Oh, I thought you would sell stuff to me. Okay, give you all your rice. Did you have any? Yeah. This grain is a favorite among residents in Kakarik village. It's grown in regions with a lot of water and is quite versatile. Used as an ingredient in things like risotto and rice balls. Oh, go. Okay, it's rice, uh, raw salt, and any meat. Let's get the regular raw meat. <laughs> meat and rice bowl. This dish of rice and lightly seared meat is a ma mainstay all for Hal Haru. Oh, oh, please, 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 head over the mill. Oh. 
Uh, let's smell. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Can I have that mini rice ball? Please, please. I need to eat. Please, I recognize this flavor. Uh -huh. This recipe presents all the share with us. Uh, Joe, Telly, and I uh, hurry up and take a bite of this. <laughs> oh, thank you for helping us. We were not doing well at all. Princess Elle taught us how to cook this dish quite some time ago. We ran into her once during our travels. She was full of kindness towards us, despite our group being a little ragged on the road. Aww. But I do remember now that she said we needed to follow the recipe exactly. <laughs> uh, it wasn't surprising here, was it, too? So it's the most repartic place of real meat. Uh, that was me, I'm sorry. I was just curious what it would taste like. I thought maybe her recipe would work well with both her parts. Uh, the road to Kirby greatness is littered with stuff you wouldn't think it's, it's tasty. Uh, gotta expand your palate. Uh, no, it's not the time to see if you're out the best practices for future dietary exploits, but you got to get to Riverside Stable. We're so late, I'm sure God has been worried about us. Ah. We really are grateful for the help. Let me say it again. On behalf of everyone, thank you. You don't even know us, but you use valuable ingredients to save us from ourselves. Here, please take this. Oh, good. Uh, recover. Mm. Oh. In this. <laughs> mm. And finally... Ah, oh, Roger, maybe. <laughs> We like cooking with the very best raw meat when we have it. You can use all that to cook yourself with meat in rice most of time. Anyway, we better head, be, get ready to head to Riverside's table since we plan to be there well before now. Ah. I have to get going, hopefully we'll run into each other in the future. Mm. Well, if it is my partner. Oh. Any luck finding those BC travelers yet? I just started to scout for them from the sky when I saw your, you down here. Chase down any leads a lot at all? Oh. What? They were right here too queasy to even move. And you helped them get back on their feet again. <sighs> Interesting. So the chips and warbles were really out of something. I'm impressed that Princess Zelda's vast knowledge includes things I wouldn't expect, like recipes for dishes. Mm. We work together to chase five, four of the stars related to Princess Zelda. Go on, and just try the sag. I just want to thank you for sending along bonus for hard work. Ah, great. Frog sleeve. A good sleeve for a rainy day. Small dimples on the fingers act as suction cups, giving good grip on wet, slippery surfaces. Oh! It's pretty rare gear that will make it easier to keep your grip on walls, even on rainy days. It's not a pair of wings, but I'm sure you will still help you reach new heights, partner. A recipe for Princess Zelda perfect for getting folks into fine shape. Fine shape. Uh, the article almost writes itself. Ah! Almost. Sort of long. Uh -uh. That looks cool with the arm. It kinda looks like a mix between the Gerudo Switch and the Zora armor. Oh, oh it's Nicky River Smith Nail. This large glow in the dark snail lives in fresh water. When you cook it in a dish, it hides your senses so you can move about silently. Oh, that. No, no, no. Ooh, that looks very rainy.
You got up right. Oh, yeah. oh, there's some people here. Ah, oh, those guys are here. Yeah. Oh. Hello there. I hope your travels are treating you well. So I take it if you struck up a conversation with facial force type like me, all the way out here. You must also be searching for pieces of biscuit treasure. Treasure? Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't know? There was once a legendary bandit by the name of Bisco, but Tiberi isn't what we do in legend. It was their unparalleled fashion sense. It said that Bisco collected rare outfits from all over the world <laughs> and hid their pieces for how hard <laughs> It may only be a story, but who could resist the call of carbonates like that? For fashion lovers like me, Bisco's treasure is the ultimate score. That's why we are all in force strike fighting. Ah. So fate and fashion must have brought the two of us together, right? Uh, shall I tell you where pieces of Bisco's treasure are said to be hidden? Tell me. <laughs> I thought that might strike your fashionable fancy. <laughs> now, do you have a map? Here's what I've heard. A piece of a uh, fairly wild wild feet. Uh, the turning of the wild from Mrs. Collection said to fill the world with power is around here. A piece of from a very snappy outfit from Mrs. Uh, collection said to keep you safe from lightning. Ah, uh, the rubber. Uh, is around here. <laughs> All this information comes from my other fashion forward friends who travel in other regions. I'm not sure if any of these looks will fit with my personal sense of style, but you never know. If you're attempting yeah. a difficult journey, I'm sure such times will come in handy. Oh. By the way, maybe that the reason you're traveling is to look for the great fairies. Or here, the closest one would be Great Fair Cotera. That's more foul, isn't it? She should be near the Dwelling Peak Stable. Oh no, in the south. If I recall correct, there correctly. If you're near there, you should stop by and ask for your clothing to get blessed. Oh, oh sorry, I've gone on and on. It's been a while since I've been able to talk <laughs> fashion with anyone. Don't permit to get back to searching for Miss Legendary outfits. Good luck and goodbye. 
Okay. Okay, you guys. Hi. Hey, you're the traveler, so stable. You're going to Kirk Village too. Oh. Well, you're almost there. Uh, it's on top of that hill. <laughs> uh, oof, I'm hungry. Are you sure I can have a taste of the ring ruins? A little nimble. Oh. A little nimble of rare otherworldly ruins? I don't think so, Cairo. Wow, I'm just joking. Oh. Sorry, pretend you didn't hear all that. <coughs> We're all well behaved travelers. We never dream of selling the place we missed. Mm. I'm starving. If I take one more step, I'll collapse from hunger. Oh. Yes, yeah, so dramatic. Guess we'll stop here and have something to eat. <laughs> Are those rocks that fell from the sky? They still. Uh. Stay away, horse. This is a death trick operation. This is a boomerang. A third third favor by the Zalfos is made of metal so it can safely be used near fire. Throw it, it will return to you. It is a decade? <laughs> Does it work well? Okay. Oh! You're moving! Spoilers of mine. Oh, you're the fellow I met at the one time. What a coincidence. I suppose fate really wanted the two of us to run into each other again. Ah. I'm sure you remember my brothers, the two folks talking in circles about swords and beasts. I finally got fed up with them and decided to go on a solo adventure exploring my favorite caves and ruins. You're alone too, right? Alone is good. It means you don't have to put up with the endless inane arguments. Oh. Sometimes I do miss having people to talk to, but still, it's better this way. Ha. Ha. Aren't you sitting around because you like that girl? Yeah. For this table. And she likes you yeah. in the previous game. Uh, okay. Oh! Is that good enough? Okay. Did you come to see this kind of a tower? Uh. My apologies, it looks like we have a small problem over here. What's going on? Oh. I heard that the terminal at this kind of tower needed repairs, so I came to fix it, but... Mm. The door will open. I have no clue why. The door isn't locked, but it won't budge, no matter how hard I push or pull. Oh, of course I know <coughs> it's a sliding door. Uh, that's what I meant, obviously. Uh, I worked up an appetite getting my brain into gear for this. 
I bet the nearby caves will have some tasty mushroom caves. Oh. Yep, there are caves at the bottom of the hill. I used to go mushroom hunting in them all the time while we were building the tower. Uh, okay, look, let's do what you told me to. Oh. Let's get right here. No, not that. Why is he in flames? I was going to rewind, now I was prepared to rewind your hand back to you. Is that why the coral was the palace was nearby? On the mind's eye. A small shikamen shield, its design is intended to decrease blind spots without sacrifice too much defense. You. Sorry, it's nothing personal. So, we got that guy here. The case, mushroom. Okay. I thought I had to give you a mushroom. Okay, now, now hit the sun. Oh, I left that behind. No, but I think it's in this room. That here. I have a picture of her. Let's see, I do. What? The door opened. Could it be? Did you fix it for me? Uh, I can't believe a couple of sticks cause all this hassle. I wonder if those were in there to begin with or uh, it just fell over somehow. Or if some monster did that on purpose. 
Either way, that really helped, thank you. Well... Mm. Mechanisms aren't working quite right, I'll just give them a bit of oil. Uh. Da -da. It was a big problem, so a little oil clear right up. Right, I'm going to hurry up on my head, so this is goodbye. Interesting that the people working for Bolso also know how to handle that mechanism. Source map updated, sky map updated. Oh, there's a little shimmer there. What's up, this? Glowing rock over here. Oh, that's. Ugh. Sage screw. Spring is another device that contracts and then expands with enough power to boss objects away from it. Cannon is another device that fires shots at intervals. The shot explodes when hitting a target. It's a powerful device, but it can be tricky to get the fire angle just right. Oh, here, did I get everything he had to offer? Yes, okay, so I'm good. Cloud Seagull. Uh, the seagull subspecies dwells mostly at high altitudes and is rarely seen on the surface, although one can occasionally be glimpsed through the clouds. They excel at catching updrafts and gliding around the sky, rarely flapping their wings. Joy is you trying. Seek the crystal connected to the beam and offer it at the shrine. Do so and I will grant you the light, a light that banishes evil. Oh, that's new. Oh! 
tomato. Uh, actually, I should maybe. Yeah, let, let's grab that and then I'll head over here. You who offers a crystal, I will grant you a light that banishes evil. Although I think the sage's wheels could be inside some of those floral glasses. Oh, uh, is that where he starts? that grows best in sunny plains. Uh, cook it before eating to restore all your hearts and the burn increase your maximum hearts. Oh. Like hell we're going there. This doesn't... Okay. Oh. oh man, great. That's Kakariko. Huh. That's not the entrance, but it sure looks nice. Should go from here. Okay, the archipelago there will definitely be useful to reach those again instead of climbing. Uh, 
uh, the right device. Did I reach that? me of Ieta. Oh. Oh. That, that could be really useful. Uh. Oh. Get in between. Cool. Really cool. Okay. Oh, I could just ascend it. Did I need that? Oh, yeah, I if I need to be longer. I didn't get it. Why did I need that ball and then other piece? Fairy tonic. This powerful recovery elixir harnesses the power of fairies. It has sweet fragrance. Uh, if I put everything all the way to the corner there. And then I leave. I can get stuck. Uh, okay, maybe I. Okay, I actually needed that for here. Uh, can I? Is it back here? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Uh, just the one? Yeah. Cool. It was cool.
Uh, I feel like I should start from the haters. <laughs> 